Okay. I wanted to make sure I was on the right page. So I actually just went live on my personal page and noticed all of my friends were jumping on that are not educators. <laughs> it's like, what is happening? Uh, so now I think I'm on a meaningful mess page. Gosh, I really am a mess. I really don't have anything together. But <laughs> that being said, I wanted to hop on and say thank you guys so much um, for just such a cool year in 2019. I absolutely love getting to connect with educators and learn from you all and learn with you and just make these crazy cool connections where we realize we're just kind of all in this together. And at this point, we're all trying to figure it out and figure out what's best for this generation of kids. And, you know, I say it all the time, but I believe in this generation with everything in me. I think that they have the opportunity. I know that they have the opportunity and the potential to change the world and do such cool things. And the more we push and the more we are willing to take risks, oh my gosh, 2020 is going to be so cool and so amazing. And I just cannot wait to see what the new year holds. I was taking some time reflecting on 2019 and so many really great things happened. Now, don't get me wrong, there were some not so great things that happened as well. I, you know, with every success, there's 10 failures behind that. But being able to publish a meaningful mess and then also being able to publish the Genius Hour resource book was such a blessing and I'm so thankful for Proof Rock Press and just being able to um, put those thoughts out there and share them. I just, um, you know, you look back on that and think about the year and it's just crazy that those things happened. I love connecting with so many educators at Gifted 19. That is always one of my favorite conferences of the year. ISTE in Philadelphia was amazing and then also had so much fun getting to visit Los Angeles a couple of times and then I, one of the highlights of my year was I got to present at the school where Glee is filmed and so that was a lot of fun and getting to just experience that and see what that looks like um, and I drove myself for those of you that don't know I live in a very small town um, <laughs> really the the most traffic I have to worry about is is maybe a cow on the road every now and then we don't really have to worry about a lot of traffic and um, so I drove myself around in Hollywood and I was super proud of myself that I was able to do that. So just 2019 was amazing. So, so many cool things. Again, there were so many things that I, if I could go back and change or do differently, I certainly would. But um, I just wanted to say that I am so thankful to get to know educators who are in the trenches doing amazing work every single day. And I just wanted to take time to say I know, I know because I am an educator that you don't always get to hear in the middle of the year how grateful we are for you, but, but we are. And I know that as you gear up to go back into the classroom after holiday break, um, there's a lot of stuff going on, whether that be preparing for testing in the spring or uh, just your kids being ready for summer. It, it's not, I know it doesn't get any easier, but gosh, you have the potential to do such cool things this year in 2020 and, and I can't wait to hop on and share more things and more things that are happening and, and being able to connect with more of you guys. So anyway, I'm rambling at this point, but I really just wanted to hop on, reflect on the year and say thank you so much for the work that you do. Thank you for being part of A Meaningful Mess because <laughs> uh, that is exactly what it is. Um, I appreciate you guys so much and I hope that you had such happy holidays and I hope that you have a happy, happy new year.